Hello everybody, this is Emma. Welcome back to Let's Play More Tales of Monkey Island, Chapter 3, Lair of the Leviathan. We are going into the water once again. And this time we're gonna talk to the manatee outside the, the cave. Not inside the cave. But in here. So that's, um... Hmm. I'm gonna talk to this guy. I just got here. Yeah, I think this is the manatee we rode in on. It looks okay, considering. It's the travel edition. I'm gonna have to make do with the phrases that come preloaded. All right. Here goes nothing. Best start with courtesy. Courtesy? May I help you? That's the first. Hey, <laughs> there, Cool. Customs. Do you accept traveler's checks? Haha, <laughs> touche, sir. Nice. Why should I give you the time of the day? It's emergencies again. I'm lost. I lost my watch. There is something endearing about a man without a sense of time. Huh. Enormous. Anyway, let's go into into the cave because in the cave, guess who's in? Guess what's in the cave? La Sponja Grande. There it is, the legendary Esponja Grande. I've crossed seas, survived an island siege, forded countless enemies, seven give or take. Traveled the entrails of a manatee and courted marine life all for this one moment. Yeah. Huh. I thought it would be bigger. Huh, <laughs> me too. Well, we have it. And, uh. I feel better already. It's cured, it seems. Time to take my Sponja Pequeño to a lane. Pequeño, huh? Well. Well. Oh, I got it. We finally got it. We really hoodwinked old Coronado, eh? Now, I just gotta get back to her and. Knew it. No, Takaba, it's not like that. You are a backstabbing sponge and woman stealer. This is the end of the line. Really? Uh -oh. Hear me out. My guy, 
I thought you swore you'd never serve another tyrant. In light of recent events, I've had a philosophical breakthrough. Well, what about Moose and Noogie? Where's... They are there. Gentlemen, this is why you always have a plan B. Bastard. Where's Noogie? Where's Noogie, damn it? Oh, whatever. So what's plan B? Very funny. This is so familiar. Ow! Ooh, this must be petrified wood. For being homemade by a lunatic, these cages are surprisingly sturdy. Yeah. So what do we do now? Okay, so... Morgan! Can you reach the rope holding your cage? No! I can't get through the top! Hmm. Can you reach the rope holding my cage? It's too far away! Okay. I'll figure something out. Better do it fast! Dakava's getting away! Oh, well... If I could just reach that rope... Okay. Morgan! How do we get out of here? No idea! This is your kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'll figure something out. Better do it fast! Dakava's getting away! I can't remember this at all. She's out of reach. Of course she's out of reach. Morgan! Can you reach the rope holding your cage? It's too far away! Okay. Wow. Well, I'll figure something out. I'll Better give her do it a sword fast. now. Dakava's getting away. Okay. It's your sword. Thanks. It felt like I was missing a part of me. No offense. Why would I take offense? Morgan. Can you reach the rope holding my cage? No, but I bet the blade of Jagoda can. All right. Is this gonna be? Oh. It? Huh. Come back with my sponge. You'll never have the sponge or my lady's love. Oh, oh my God! Bring me my prize. Sure thing, boss. I think Santino picked it up. What? Oh. Right. Oh. Hey, he forgot the sponge. Of and course. him isn't, and bring her about. Yes, sir. Then empty the cannons on him, me hearties. Hey, Morgan, he forgot the sponge. <laughs> They're coming back. Do something, Guybrush. Yeah, we first things first. About this. Okay, so I can't use the cannon, I suppose. For Actually, me to shoot the cannon and for you to surrender the sponge! Nah. There's no mask like a rubber tree mask. Well, quickly, bring up another cannon from the hole! They have a lot of cannons, so. Let me do this fast. Sorry, little buddy. Ah, sorry, little buddy there. resorted to hurling detritus, sir. Oh, if you're still hungry, fella. Let's see what happens. that seahorse head in my pants the entire time I was underwater probably wasn't the safest course of action. Nope. Well played, Threepwood. And I didn't even have to run anyone through. Yeah, you let a manatee do your dirty work for you. Hey, look at that. Huh. Are they holding hands? 
flippers, but yeah. Love is in the air or in the water. Everywhere I look around. Wow. Wow. Where do you think they're headed? I don't know. Wherever nature tells them to, I imagine. That's nice. Oh, yes, oh God. it is. Oh, Morgan. A trial and an execution of Guyver Threepwood. The next chapter. Well, that's the uh, chapter um, um, three. Yeah. I'm alright. It's gonna talk. Isn't it? And Connors? Ha ha ha! You have yeah. a worse haircut than I do! <laughs> Eric Parsons, all dressed up and no place to go! <laughs> oh, Murray. Grossman, that guy again? Yep, that guy again. Animation! I need no animation! I live! I'm sure you do. How many numbskulls does it take to make one of these, anyway? A lot, Murray. Ah, Joe Pitty, the man who taught me everything I know! Everything I know about evil! <laughs> the testers, sitting in a dark room with lava lamps, and they think it's heaven. <laughs> Sound? I don't want to hear it. Hey, okay. are you really a lumberjack, or do you just like the plaid shirts? Marketing? <laughs> I sell myself. Jake, go talk to somebody who cares. Wow. Will it never end? Nope, it will never end. Never. Alright, never. Oh, never! Sisters, all that pizza and no idea what kind of meat it was. And here we go. Whoa! That's a filthy lie! This is my own voice! Sure it is. Kevin Bruner, he's been around forever. Go away, old man. Randy Tudor, I will end you! It will end everybody. Uh-huh. Oh, like all these people had something to do with it. <laughs> yeah, sure they have. And me. Yeah. Me. Boring! Yeah, a little bit. I have to admit, Murray, it's a little bit boring. But anyway, this is chapter 3, it's finished, and next time we're going to take on chapter 4. Is he gonna go into the chest again? Raise the burning face of hell! <laughs> At last, I alone rule the interface! I have taken control, and none shall. Oops. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next chapter. Bye, people. Bye, people! <sighs> Feeling right as rain now, Captain. As refreshed as my days as a cabana boy in Borneo. Captain? Oh dear.